To create Impressionist photography, you must first understand what Impressionism really is. The term Impressionism was first coined in 1874 to describe the work of group of artists including Monet, Renoir, Pizarro and Degas, who were exhibiting in Paris. French art critic Louis Leroy first used the term Impressionist based on Monet's painting Impression Sunrise. Although Impressionism is now one of the best loved art movement, at the time the work of Impressionists was not well received by the conventional art community. Louis Leroy wrote sneeringly, Impression, of course, there must be an impression somewhere in it. What freedom, what flexibility of style. Wallpaper in its early stages is much more finished than that. And yet, just a few years later, the reputation of Monet and his fellow Impressionists could hardly have been more different. Not only were they painting selling to avid collectors, but also exhibition were visited by thousands of people. Art critics began to treat the Impressionist technique as an innovative and groundbreaking style that had the power to convey a new type of perception. Impressionism is characterized by its use of pure bright colors and the fact that it shows visual effects rather than the details of a scene. It's often concerned with movement and changing the quality of light over time. Impressionist painters often worked with complementary colors to make them appear richer. The intention was to convey the experience of how we first view a scene, perceiving a mass of color and light rather than details. In other words, Impressionist art aims to capture the fleeting effects of nature, the atmosphere of a particular time of the day. Impressionism is a way of engaging the viewer in interpreting the subject and mood. It's a way of seeing, thinking, feeling and reacting to what is in front of us. I would say that Impressionist photographer's primary aim is to express the effect of light, movement and color upon the object in the scene. Impressionist photographs lead us on a journey and evoke feelings. We don't want to make a document of a subject. Instead, we aim to create a picture that the viewers will respond to emotionally. To accomplish this, you need to explore techniques and light and work towards a simpler, more abstract look. You should only suggest detail rather than focus on it and emphasize shapes, light and color and their relationship. You must also follow your feelings and learn how to communicate them through the visual language of light, color and shapes. It may appear that Impressionist photography is an invention of recent years, but this genre is as old as the photographic medium itself. The pictorialist perspective was born in the late 1860s and held sway through the first decade of the 20th century. It approached the camera as a paintbrush to be used to make an artistic statement. The purpose of pictorialism was to demonstrate that photography was more than just taking photos by anyone with a camera. Each photograph was a carefully constructed single original product of art, and a camera was a tool used by an artist to show artistic talent and impressions. Back then, photographers were more interested in the images' aesthetics and the emotions it brought. Sharpness and clarity were deliberately avoided. Special camera lenses, 
developing techniques and the rich tones of platinum prints allowed the creation of soft, tranquil quality in the images. The photographs of the pictorialist movement are among the most spectacular works of art in the medium's history. Showcasing soft focus, dramatic light effects, unusual camera angles and bold technical experimentation. The pictorialists created highly atmospheric works that expanded visual vocabulary of photography. Today, there are many in-camera options to create impressionist photography, like specialist lenses, such as the lens baby, filters, multiple exposures, aperture and a slow shutter speed techniques. But remember, impressionism is not a definable technique, but a way of seeing. The methods used are influenced by direct visual experience. Your goal is to express an emotion or mood. To accomplish this, you should only suggest details rather than focus on it, and emphasize shapes, light and color, and their relationship. Once you've mastered some basic techniques and controls of your camera, the possibilities of what you should and how you should are endless. You will enter a fascinating world where your sense of adventure and creativity is the only limitation. As I mentioned before, there is no strict formula for creating impressionist photographs. The only thing that matters is what you want. Don't worry too much about other people's opinions. Always listen to your own vision. Follow your heart. Remember, the only thing that is original is you. Your taste, feelings and unique experiences. If you are not quite sure what your vision is, you may ask yourself, what do you like about your photographs? There will always be some aspects of your photographs that you like more than anything else. It could be a specific look, color, composition, or use of light. Once you know what excites you in your own work, you can do it again intentionally. With this as a guide, you became free to explore the world of Impressionist photography and create highly unique images that other people will want to look at and enjoy. Over time, your artistic eye and technical ability will develop beyond the technical aspects of image making and the principles of Impressionist photography will start to become a second nature. That is when your vision, interpretation and style will begin to develop. Through the experience of creating photographs, you learn and once you grasp the step-by-step -step concepts, you will be able to photograph with confidence. If you are looking for a way to create artistic images like this with your camera, my online course Fundamentals of Impressionist Photography, it's for you. In this course, we will look at the ideas of Impressionist Photography and learn how to use simple in-camera techniques that turn ordinary scenes into light-filled Impressionist photographs. I will take the mystery out of Impressionist Photography and help you create beautiful painterly pictures. Click on the link in the description below to start learning.